With the federal budget to be released next week, universities and students alike are speculating about the impact on higher education. Yeah, I've had a lot of students talk to me, both formally and informally, about how concerned they are about the deregulations of fees and the possible increase of fees. I think all students should be very much concerned. The Audit Commission report predicted that the government would save $1.5 billion a year if university fees were to be deregulated. Yeah, I think the problem with the deregulation of fees and the idea that universities can become more competitive um, is, is a complete fallacy. If you look at somewhere like the Illawarra, uh, UOW has a monopoly on the tertiary education here, on, on, on bachelors and masters and doctorates. So the idea that there's going to be competition created um, in, in the Illawarra is, is not right. It also recommended the reduction of government funding from 59% to 45% and to increase student contributions from 41% to 55%. According to Chris Pine, increases in student contributions are justified because a person with a bachelor's degree will earn 75% more money in their lifetime than those without a bachelor's degree. Yeah, that statistic just shows how much we should be incentivizing tertiary education. I expect those figures are not new grads. I expect those figures are people that are late into their careers anyway. Um, but the taxable income of people that have a tertiary education is great higher than those that don't. And so that, 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 that um, just shows that the government should be incentivizing tertiary education or decentivizing it. Good work there Angelique. Thank you. Now before we get to the crux of the issue, those graphics were fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good, to How know, did you... good to know education's paying off, right Alice? Yeah. <laughs> How did you incorporate that? Well I thought that the story was quite number heavy yeah. and um, frankly I think I have a very short attention span so I thought that Don't pictures would help people um, keep engaged with the heavy material. Something like the budget is in um, generally people are interested in, but I think everyone has a vested interest. Yeah, and something that we didn't cover in the video was also the changes to the threshold. What's mm -hmm. happening there? So the Commission of Audit Report last week recommended that the threshold uh, where you pay back your hex debt will be lowered from 51000 down to 32000 So once you start making income above $32,000, you will start, start paying, paying your hex off. back. So it's not really setting us up for lifetime expenditure, I'm assuming. <laughs> no, not particularly. Oh, well, that's, well, what, what can we do? Mm -hmm. I suppose it's all proposed at the moment, isn't it? So counting down to Tuesday um, and the budget release. That'll be really interesting to see what happens. Thanks for coming in, Angelique. That was really interesting.